2017 is shaping up to be a huge year for the Arizona Diamondbacks as it is their 20th season in the major leagues and they've made the playoffs just once in the last nine seasons. They have a new manager in Tori Lovulo and lowered expectations after two straight seasons of being a contender. This year, the Diamondbacks are at odds of 18 to 1 to win the National League West, 50 to 1 to win the National League pennant, and 125 to 1 to win the World Series, which is much more realistic than in recent past seasons. New manager Terry Lavulo comes in from Boston, where he was an assistant to John Farrell, and he took over for Farrell when the Boston manager had to undergo surgery and chemo for lymphoma in 2015. This is his first head coaching job, and Lavulo has a lot of work on his hands. Offense was not a problem for the Diamondbacks, who were 8th in batting average and 10th in runs scored. Even with Jean Segura now in Seattle, they should be fine with Paul Goldschmidt and Yasmani Thomas, who exploded in 2016. Don't forget about Jake Lamb either, and if Ketel Marty can lock down the leadoff spot, the Diamondbacks should be fine. However, once again, it was the pitching that let Arizona down. The Diamondbacks were dead last in the entire major leagues in ERA, 28th in quality starts, and 29th in opposing batting average. Zach Greinke was not good at all in 2016, and even worse, he had injury problems. And at 33 years old, it probably is not going to get much better. Robbie Ray is the best of the rest in the rotation which is saying something, and the bullpen isn't exactly anything to brag about. The Diamondbacks did bring in Fernando Rodney, but the 39-year-old closer might not have many opportunities to get saves. Chase Field has always been a hitter's park, but the Diamondbacks pitching staff was truly terrible in 2016, and it really doesn't look like they're going to get any better in 2017. It would not be a surprise if they were even worse. Arizona was also 20th in fielding percentage and 23rd in total errors last year, and quite frankly, they're not good enough to get away with that. Taking a look at some players to watch, we know Goldschmidt is going to produce, so now it's on the players around him, starting with Jake Lamb, who went from 6 homers in 2015 to 29 in 2016. The Diamondbacks need him to continue his ascent, and at 26 years old in a park like Chase Field, 30 homers should not be out of the question. The same goes for Yasmani Tomas, who is a month younger than Lamb. Tomas went from 9 homers in his rookie season to 31 last year, and he could be even more dangerous than Lamb. However, he has a problem that the Diamondbacks have as a team. Arizona was 5th in the majors in strikeouts, and the Thomas-Lamb-Goldschmidt trio were at the forefront of that. It can pay to be aggressive, but sometimes you need to be patient. Simply put, Zach Greinke needs to be better in 2017. His 26 starts were his lowest since becoming a full-time start in Kansas City in 2009, which means he had a low innings year and his 4.37 ERA was his worst since back in 2005 when he had an ERA of 5.80. He doesn't have to be his Cy Young winning self, but Greinke has to be dependable enough in this rotation. The Diamondbacks would like Ketel Marty to step into Segura's leadoff role to give the big guys a chance to drive runs in. However, Marty went backwards at the plate in 2016. If he can lock down the leadoff spot and get on base, the Diamondbacks are going to be a fun offensive team to watch. Click over now and check out all the Major League Baseball betting odds on the board. Make a few wagers at BetDSA.com and we'll see you at the ballpark.